morning and welcome to Motivation Monday. This is uh, June 29th and this is our new format now for uh, Motiv Motivation Monday here on Zoom. So things are a little bit different. Uh, let's just make sure I've got everything working right. I too am kind of new to, um, to this. So I do like to make sure everything is working right. And it does appear to be so. Okay, so I'm coming at you from, uh, you know, my home, uh, just like everybody else. I'm still, uh, you know, coming at you from home. Haven't gone back to the office yet. And so we'll just uh, get things rolling here. Let's see. Yeah, uh, my quote for the week. One of my all-time favorites is. I know there's a lot of. Uh, debate over whether Edison actually said it or not, but uh, I think it was uh, true for his time as it uh, is for us today that opportunity is missed by most people because it's dressed in overhauls and looks like work. In other words, a lot of people miss the opportunity because they don't recognize it. And for our little uh, schedule here for today, we're going to have, you know, our tip of the week, the usual sales shout outs. And our little topic today is uh, I'm just going to give you a little introduction to the AHIP process. Uh, for those who are considering, uh, you know, maybe adding Medicare to their lines of business, I'll give you some uh, tips on AHIP. And, um, and if you didn't want to do the AHIP, what uh, the alternatives are. Uh, there are things that you could do that would still let you into the uh, Medicare process without going through the AHIP. Uh, our tips, again, um, I guess if you haven't caught on yet, um, this is kind of about AHIP here today. And uh, I am one of the Medicare trainers, so it's kind of my um, bailiwick anyway. Okay, so uh, anyway, AHIP opened up last week, uh, last Monday for 2021, uh, and closed out, uh, you know, 2020. Now, many of the carriers will still uh, let you do the 21 certification and, and sell for 2020. Not all of them, but it, you'll see which, uh, which ones will do that. Uh, now, you have to do the AHIP first and then uh, the certifications with whatever carriers you've determined that you would like to sell. Okay, so uh, each carrier does have its uh, own process also. Looking at our uh, sales, um, you know, for last week, um, looks like short term was still led by the uh, NHIC. Uh, but gosh, looks golden rule kind of took over everything beyond uh, uh, you know short term. So limited medical, accident, critical illness, and dental all came from golden rule. And if we look at who was doing the selling, uh, somehow it seems like I'm seeing the same names a lot. Uh, we had uh, uh, for short term uh, was Bill Cox, uh, Max Weinstein, and Katia Santa Maria. Uh, limited Medical, uh, all author Arthur uh, Walsh and Sarah Fry, good job in there. Uh, accident, again, Arthur probably pairing that up with the Limited Medical and, um, and Timothy Brown. And I just kind of threw in the Medicare here because like I said, that's my thing. And uh, we had some pretty good sales from um, uh, Inderjet Men, and uh, he was doing um, mostly, it looked like, uh, Medicare Advantage plans. And uh, Maureen uh, McNally, who was doing most, uh, what I saw from her, uh, was some, uh, was mostly Medicare supplement, but there was a bit of, uh, you know, prescription drugs in there. So those two kind of go together anyway. All right. So, uh, like I said, that's where the money making was uh, this last week, uh, and those were the money makers. Uh, now, for today's topic, like I said, I was going to introduce you to the AHIP and the AHIP process. Now, AHIP is a national trade association uh, representing the health, uh, you know, health insurance industry. 
and AHIP members provide you know, health and supplemental benefits to more than 200 million Americans through employer-sponsored coverage, individual uh, insurance market, and public programs such as Medicare and Medicaid. Now, AHIP does advocate uh, for the public policies that expand access to affordable health coverage to all Americans through competitive marketplace that fosters choice, quality, and inner innovation. So that's kind of a, you know, what AHIP is in itself, just a, a big trade association. But what they do in the world of Medicare, for those who are interested in add, you know, adding a little bit of Medicare to their uh, business line, uh, what you would be finding is, is all of the plans out there uh, have a common element, and that's all those rules for uh, selling Medicare, what you can and can't do, what you can and can't say, um, you know, what has to be included in a presentation, you know, what, what you, you know, things that you can't do, like, uh, you know, cold calling. Anyway, they provide all that common core stuff, and so if one was wanting to do like, you know, you know, 15, 16 different carriers, you would hate to repeat this same portion that many times. So this allows the uh, various companies to just do uh, what's unique to them in their training. They don't have to do all that common core stuff. Okay. Now, Move on. Um, if, when you first go to uh, the AHIP uh, website, and you'd get there by going to ahipmedicaremarketing.com, uh, you would see uh, this opening page here. This is where you would either log in for those who are already part of AHIP or have done it in the past, and register if you are a first time user. Now I have to caution everybody, AHIP is not free. Okay. It's about $175 to, to go through the process and get certified. Uh, they do offer uh, CE points for having completed it. Uh, offhand, I really don't recommend signing up and taking the points because they're expensive points. They're gonna charge you for about uh, six points. They're gonna charge you around you know, 40 to 40 bucks. And I know that the last time uh, I did my cert and I got another one coming up, uh, I was at, I had to do my, you know, 24 CE points for my state license. Uh, I could get all 24 for $60, you know. But for others, it's, uh, to, you know, time, you got money, you've got the money and you don't uh, have the time. So you just uh, go ahead and take those six credits or so and, uh, do it that way. So it's, it's up to you. Uh, I usually recommend, I just think that they're expensive for what you get. Okay. Now, many of the um, different um, companies out there, and by that I mean like uh, Humana for sure, um, uh, also from uh, Aetna for sure, the Blue Crosses and Anthem, they'll all pay $50 of that 175 Okay, so you can get it down almost immediately to $125. If you want to do that, and I do recommend it, you don't go directly to AHIP. You would go uh, start off at the carrier's website, and then the carrier website will link you over here. Uh, but that's how you get that $50 credit, okay, is by uh, taking it through there. Um, but in either case, you'll wind up back on this page, and you'll have to register. And you'll do that uh, if you if you're if you're returning, uh, you just put in your um, username and password, and you get a little a bit of an abbreviated than that person who's doing it for the first time. Okay, so it's a, a lot a little bit more work uh, for those doing it the first time. Uh, let's see here. You know, so I'd say that uh, the, for the first time, you're going to need this information in order to get into the A hit there. Uh, they're gonna want uh, in your registration process, just that basic information, you know, your NPN, your social security number, your date of birth, email, and some basic info, name, address, that kind of stuff. And uh, they're gonna want your uh, password. Okay. Now, unless you've got like a password system that you use, uh, you know, you want to keep track of that. I usually recommend for using on your username to either be your email um, 
or your NPN. I use my NPN, works, works good for me anyway. Now you do have to recertify annually, and that's a shorter version if you did it the year before. And I did uh, tell you about the carrier discounts. Now they'll all discount that 50 bucks for you. Okay. Now when it comes to the test, you only have three attempts. Uh, after three, they would charge you again. Okay. So what I would want you to do is, uh, it's an open book test. So it's not, um, you know, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's uh, an easy test, but it's not all that hard, but it's open book, but it's timed, it's two hours. So if you're gonna uh, you know, go ahead and go through the process, you may as well do it for real. Uh, you know, print out uh, all of the slides that they're gonna, cause they're all available to print out and you can, you can have it there, you can study from them. You can uh, use them uh, you know, during the test if you needed to. Uh, I always use that method where I just go through the test the first time and just answer everything that I know the answers, mark the ones I need to return to. And maybe I need to go into the um, material and look up a couple answers. So like I said, you got two hours. Uh, it usually it's a, it's a 50 question test. You can probably knock out the, um, you know, the 50 questions in about probably 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how fast you read. And that gives you time to, to do some lookups if you needed to. And then at the end of all of that, once you've got certified, uh, you're gonna send the, your results over to the carriers that you want to um, uh, certify with, okay, so that they'll know. Okay. Uh, for those of you who have um, decided that, you know, gosh, you know, $175, even with a $50 discount, uh, I would, I'm interested, but I'm not ready to commit yet. So one of the things that you can do, there is one carrier out there um, that doesn't uh, require a HIP. In other words, they will teach that uh, portion um, themselves. Now, if you do a hip, that's great. They would take it, uh, and 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 you wouldn't have to do that portion of their certification process. But that's United Healthcare. United Healthcare is the only company that gives you the option. You can do a hip and skip that portion of their certification process, uh, or you can um, do theirs. Now, if you do just theirs, it's not transferable to anybody else. So you can only sell United. But like I said. For those who wanted to, one, not spend $175 and uh, would still like to get their feet wet and try uh, doing some uh, you know, Medicare, uh, I would do the uh, process there through uh, United Healthcare, UHC. If, and when it comes to doing that, the way you would go about it is uh, simply contact the uh, broker support. When you get into broker support, you'd see that there's, you know, under 65 and over 65. Of course, you're, for Medicare, it's going to be the over 65 side of the house. And you can do their certification process. Um, and it's not that bad. Uh, the thing is, is uh, it would give you access to the um, AARP plans. Okay, and that's United Healthcare has uh, the AARP plans. So they've done a lot of advertising for you. And uh, I've had uh, over the years of selling, uh, many people, you know, specifically wanting the AARP plan. And so that works out pretty well. Um, so for those that, uh, you know, want to try and just get their feet wet and are willing to spend a little time but don't want to commit the money, um, United Healthcare, and for those who want to just jump in and, uh, uh, and, and get certified in Medicare and, you know, be able to sell everywhere, I would do the AHIP. Okay, now, um, when it comes to carriers, I would always pick uh, at least the big three, that would be United Healthcare, Aetna, and Humana. And then, I, uh, depending on where I'm selling, I would pick out one of the blues. Now, the blues come in a couple of different um, methods. It can be Blue Cross Blue Shield or through Anthem. Okay, depending on what state that you're dealing with. Uh, so you can get a, uh, one of the blues, uh, or the blues for the areas that you're doing uh, most of your selling. 
And then I'd look at any of the regional ones. And by regional, I mean like um, a lot of places, especially through the south, you see a lot of Cigna Health Spring. Um, and then there's some, uh, if you were selling solely in a certain area, like uh, Oklahoma, I'd get look at Global Health. If I was selling heavily in uh, Texas, especially over in the Dallas uh, area in there, I'd be looking at Scott and White that's um, centered around the, you know, Baylor University. And so that's a very popular plan in that area. So those are some tips and uh, some ideas. And like I said, the introduction to the AHIP process. Now, uh, if you are interested in going on through AHIP and uh, you're, you're worried about that exam process, um, when you reach the point um, where maybe you've taken the exam and you didn't pass and you're kind of concerned because you, you know, you want to want to work in there, contact me through uh, training at ahcpsales.com and um, I can uh, uh, help out a little bit with the testing process. I can uh, give you a little bit more coaching, maybe a little one-on-one -on -one if you're interested. Just, uh, you know, email me there and I uh, just um, make the subject line AHIP and uh, it'll draw my attention to it and I will get right back with you and we'll look at uh, you know getting you certified through that AHIP process. Uh, I got some things in my pocket that I can help you out with. So unless anybody has uh, particular questions, um, that's what I have here for today. Let's see if I'm on here. Use the chat, don't use that one where it says Q&A. We'll go over to, to the chat box. And if you open up uh, in chat, I can answer any questions that anybody has there. Uh, and let's see here. If uh, anybody has any questions, just uh, give me one here. And uh, I just say here, uh, you know, use the chat feature. Hopefully that uh, came across to all of you, uh, if you look there in the chat. Uh, for those who are not, uh, you know, really custom to Zoom, um, Zoom has some, a lot of pretty cool little features there that we're, we're looking at. It lets me share my screen and, um, you know, get to see my uh, handsome face there. And so what, uh, if I guess I don't see any questions coming across. So um, I'm just going to call it here for today. Um, uh, the shorter version of renewing. Okay. Uh, see what happens there is is what you when you go there, uh, you'd see that they know that you've already done it before, and it's, that course will be a little bit more tailored. Instead of uh, for the first time person, it'll be a renewing, and you'll see it on there where it says renewing. Okay. Um, still, will uh, it still has like it still has five modules um, as you go through it, but it's supposedly a little simpler. It's been so long since I did the original one. I'm just and I keep doing the renewing one year after year, so I'm just not sure what the real difference is anymore because it's been so long since I did that first one. Um, any other questions there? Okay, Melanie, I hope that answers your question. All right. Well, I hope everybody has a good day and um, you can take care and uh, good selling.